Speaking of journeys, you may have heard that we're on the move. And I'd like to uh, invite my uh, compatriot here. The comedic opportunities here are just overwhelming. I could talk about trying to distinguish which one is stiffer. or how this is a, a wonderful metaphor of how being president often has me beside myself. <laughs> or perhaps the debates I've had with this sucker uh, <laughs> late at night so many times. We are moving to a new headquarters. And at one level, of course, why should you care if you're in Idaho or Oregon or Iowa if there's a different return address on stuff that comes from the UUA? That's not what's important. What is important is we are going to move into a headquarters that allows our staff, your staff, to work in the way we've always wanted to work. We work now in, in older buildings that were <clears throat> that were designed for another era. They were really designed for a late 19th century, early 20th century kind of organization that involved individuals working in very specialized ways in, in individual offices. And we're in two buildings, each of them six floors. When I go to my office at the UUA, I have no idea who's in the building beyond those who came ex in exactly when I did and we get on the elevator together because you don't bump into people. We're going to move into a building that is a modern, open office space design that's going to have all of us rather than on 12 floors, on three, we're going to connect them. And let me show you some pictures that, that will give you a taste of what's going to happen. This is our new headquarters, and by the way, this is Photoshopped or something. Those banners are not, but they look so real. Those banners are, in fact, not on 24 Farnsworth. Uh, but that's a UUA banner and a, and a Beacon uh, Press banner. Uh, let's go to the next slide. I want to show you this. So this is, right now, completely unfinished. You can see it's been gutted, and it's uh, pillars and beams and open and, and, and quite light. That's the third floor of the new building. We'll have the first, second, and third floors. We're working with an architectural firm that we found that I'm so excited about. This is Trinity Church, the, the, the very elaborate church at Copley Square in downtown Boston. And this is their, it's a new word in my vocabulary, Undercroft. And they decided that this essentially, not really a basement, this uh, kind of little bigger than a crawlway, they wanted to expand and use this space. So take a look at this and look at the, the stone on the right and look at what they did with it. Yeah, go back and forth. Go, if you will, that's the undercroft as it existed. This is what they have now. And someone pointed out, that's not fair. It looks so much better in person than this photograph has it look. They also did the downtown uh, post office and, and, and uh, federal court in Boston. This is the entrance that existed in this uh, 1930 era uh, office building, and this is the entrance that exists today. So let me show you some conceptual drawings now of 24 Farnsworth. As you come in, there's going to be <clears throat> what we're calling a welcoming heritage and vision center for Unitarian Universalism that's going to use, we're in the very early stages of planning this, but it's going to, the, the vision is to use the kind of technology that's used in better museums now, in, in, in uh, art museums, interactive electronic stuff, so we can not only, we can tell our story for visitors, but also talk about not only our distant past, but who we are and what our aspirations are, and have different ways of, uh, of demonstrating that, and there'll be a little uh, store there where we'll be able to sell books, but also some, some other things, items as well. Let's go to the next one. On the second floor, this is going to be, uh, this is a conceptual drawing of the new uh, 
chapel and those again it'll have doors that open out into another receiving area it's going to be a, f- a wonderful multi-use gathering place uh, for all kinds of, of, of meetings and gatherings that we can have there uh, next slide this is again this is conceptual nothing will look exactly like this but this is showing the kind of mixing of open space offices with lots of little places where people can get together to talk about things so that we can really have a facility that evokes collaboration rather than impedes it. Uh, the next one is a, a bit of a meeting room and if you look very, very closely, this, I love this, I, I hadn't looked closely the first time, the, uh, the sign, the banner on the left actually says seven principles at the top. and. <laughs> And, and if you look super closely, somebody imposed a, there's a Hosea Ballou's in that meeting room, uh, the, the portrait of, of, of Hosea Ballou. And one more. Uh, or is that, is that the, yeah, I think that, that might be the, the last one of our Farnsworth. So there is so much wonderful stuff going on. Okay. But I want to wrap to go back to, we are on a new journey together, a new chapter, if you will, of our, of our continuing journey. And what will guide us on this way are the values that have always guided us. And I see it as a way of living out our true identity. Because as, as I see the history of Unitarian Universalism, We are not the people who got stuck. We are not the people who clung to traditions that no longer were serving humanity and the human spirit. We were the people who saw new possibilities. We were always the bold seekers, those who reached out and embraced new knowledge in the sciences, those who reached out and embraced the wisdom and the teachings of different religious traditions beyond the the tradition uh, of our birth. That is what is before us now, to live out that identity, to be the passionate, bold, spiritual adventurers for the 21st century that includes, that offers not only to our people, but people outside of our circle now the progressive religious community that so many millions of people hunger for. Our possibilities truly are breathtaking. I have never lost that conviction. Our challenge is to seize those opportunities. Let us join together on this wonderful, wonderful journey before us. Let's be on our way Thank you for everything you do for Unitarian Universalism in your own community. And finally, thank you for the unbelievable privilege of serving as your president.